So how do you eliminate the fear? How do you focus on the positives? Because fear in words is one thing, but feeling that fear, you know, here right in, in this little seventh part of your stomach, how do they eradicate that fear? How do they deal with that? Literally, take a deep breath, right? Take a deep, deep, deep breath and let out all that fear and relax, right? It's all, it's all about body language. It's all about body language. When you're on, your, when you're on the phone, people hear you tensed up. They hear that you're nervous. They hear that your shoulders are tight. They hear, they hear that you're not smiling. They hear that you're trembling. They hear that. And however, if you will, if you will take a deep breath and think about all the positiveness that's coming out of this situation and relax, right? And, and you, I'll, tell, I'll tell you how to eliminate your fear right here. What's your intent? Are you there to just try to do a deal with someone? Right? Are you there just to try to make money off somebody? Or are you there to truly help someone regardless if they want to buy or sell something today or not? What is your intent? And if your intent is just to make money or to do a deal, then yeah, I think you should be scared because you're fixing to have to put somebody that may not be ready to buy or sell something in a real awkward situation. Yep. However, if your intent is just to help them regardless if they buy or sell today or not and to listen to them and try to help them through whatever life changes they have going on, now you don't have anything to be scared of because your intent is there. Now, if your intent is where it needs to be and you get into a, a situation with a mean seller, a mean buyer, they're cussing at you, they're hanging up on you, hey, I'm a, I feel offended if a seller or a buyer gets mad at me about anything and I'm gonna give it right back to them because I'm there to truly help them. You know? How do you deal with that? When, when someone how do you, how would you handle that? Confronting? Literally, if some if I call, if I'm cold calling, they say, "Look, I don't want to sell my house. Quit call." I'm like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look here. I'm not trying to get you to sell your house, ma'am. Susan, I'm here to help you. I don't want to know what I can't do for you. I want to know what I can do for you." Right? And so I'm not there to fig I'm not there to listen to what they don't want to do or can't do or wish they could. I'm there. I want to know what I can do for you, right? If nothing, cool. Look, no harm, no foul. Is there an agent you would work with if you were to do something? No. Well, look. I'm sure at some point you'll do something. True or false? I'd love the opportunity to work with you when that day comes. Would it be all right if I stayed in touch with you? Cool. What's your email address? Boom. I'm just I'm just dropping mics. You can't see me, but mics are just falling all around me right now. I think whatever you think about all the time, I don't know who said it, but whatever you think about all the time <clears throat> is what's going to happen. And I'll and I'll tell you the flip side of that. Whatever you fear, whatever your fear is, whatever you fear, that we create what we fear. Right? We create what we fear. If we're scared that people are going to hang up on us and we're going to have a horrible call session, then we then people will hang up on us and we will have a horrible call session. If we if we think we're going to go to a listing appointment and we're going to have a uh, we're going to have a great list, a listing appointment and we're going to get that listing, then that's what's going to happen. But if you say I don't know if I'm going to get this, I'm a little nervous, I'm a little scared, um, you know I, I don't I don't I don't feel confident. And you're scared to go to that listing appointment because you're scared you're going to look dumb, you're going to sound dumb. Then that's what's going to happen. You're going to go there and you're going to sound dumb. And so you have to you have to focus on the positives. You know, like people have phone call sessions and they 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 say they they they'll message me and they'll say, Ricky, what do you do about wrong numbers and disconnected numbers? I you know, and I'm like, well, okay. How did you have anybody that picked up? And like, oh yeah, we had some good conversations. And I'm thinking, well, why are you focused on the wrong numbers and the disconnected numbers? Let's focus on the people that picked up and we had great conversations with. And so it's all perspective, you know what I mean? And so, and so people, what they fear, what you fear is what you create. We create what we fear. 
And if you will, like you said, focus. I'm so focused on what's next, what's next, what's next. I'm so focused on what's positive. You know, what I want to build my business and life around the positives, the great conversations I had. I think people are worried about those 70% of people they talk to that either don't like them or already have another agent. And they're not even looking at the 20 to 30 percent of people they talk to that love them, that w- that that wish, you know, that they could only wish to do business with them for the rest of their life. And agents are more focused on the negatives, you know, um, a lot of them. So uh, another another key point I really want to try to spread is to focus on the goodness that's coming out of these call sessions and the goodness that's coming out of you know, you're, you're, you know, let's go to a listing appointment and think, okay, we're going to get it. You know, we're not scared. We are confident. Okay. Well, you may, you may be in that situation and not walk out with the listing agreement. That happens to me, you know, but here's the thing. Even when you lose, you win because you learn something from that experience. But not only that, you get future time back that you don't have to spend on that deal anymore. Boom.